Hi Paul. Uh, your video raised some very good questions. I'm certainly not an expert in this area, but perhaps I have a few insights that can help you clarify your thinking. You're absolutely right when you say that we can't uh, control all factors that might affect our kids, that uh, they do have to take some risks, and some risks are acceptable. It's part of growing up is uh, letting kids have risks. You raise the issue of would you let your kids go swimming? Uh, to which I might respond is that you can uh, do certain things to increase or decrease uh, the risks. Certainly swimming in a supervised pool seems uh, within the acceptable limits of risks. I see absolutely no problem with that uh, and there's uh, nothing wrong with that. However, you wouldn't let your kids uh, swim with a cut in shark infested water. So. I think making a hard and fast rule, no you don't go swimming, or yes you do, you, you want to control where and when and how, how they're going to swim. Uh, similarly, uh, there's some things that you have allowed uh, uh, your son to do which I would say is questionable. I don't think it's a good idea to allow him on videos without a shirt on. I think that that's probably going to be red meat to the pedophiles. Uh, probably if you allow him on in a controlled manner and again you mentioned you're not going to let him do any suggestive dancing and I, I think that's a really good idea. But uh, just try and make sure he doesn't do things that would excite the uh, pedophiles any more than is necessary. Uh, I think what you're asking for, hard statistics, I, I have a hunch that you're not going to be able to find them. Uh, for a couple of reasons. First, this whole YouTube phenomena is fairly new. Uh, it's just been around for a year or two and so I don't think that there is any long-term basis for statistics to be compiled. Secondly, uh, I'm not, I don't think that the states and localities coordinate their statistics and their information, their crime information, well enough to have that sort of a database compiled. Hopefully somebody within the law enforcement community could come in and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'd be very much surprised, and I'd be extremely surprised if anyone has compiled statistics on the question of what are the odds of someone who is well known on YouTube and whose address is well known uh, putting their children at risk Basically, there are not that many people in your situation, so I really don't think that uh, the sample size, the sample size is large enough to make, uh, to say anything, uh, to, to be able to tell anything. So I think what you're asking for, hard statistics, is not something you're uh, going to be able to find. Uh, you raise the question, well gee, what about uh, letting your kids swim in a public pool, uh, aren't pedophiles uh, hanging out there getting their jollies off? and well maybe to some extent there they are but uh, uh, I'm sure that those public pools are supervised by adults probably you may be around uh, your kid if not they'll be lifeguards they'll, and there'll be lots of witnesses so what a pedophile could actually do uh, in that sort of situation would be very limited Probably uh, most of the pedophiles, a vast number of pedophiles, if they see your uh, kid on the internet, uh, well, unfortunately they may get their jollies, uh, and s sick and disgusting as that is to think about, uh, so long as they're staying at home and getting their jollies and not coming after your kid, uh, no real harm is done. Uh, what is what is the danger is that somebody could track you down if they got really excited by your kid and uh, and abduct him. But it seems to me, and I could be totally wrong here, but it seems to me that uh, a pedophile is probably going to be more likely to prey on the kids in his own neighborhood. That uh, that. Uh, they're not going to go very far if they can prey on somebody uh, who's close by and I guess I would be guessing that uh, the victims they choose is going to be based on how easy or it is uh, to go after them. 
So I'd be concerned perhaps about the people who live in your neighborhood maybe who, who might know uh, who your kid is if they happen to see it. But I have a hunch that uh, the risk from people from far away track going down, tracking them down, uh, your, your child is probably not that great. Bottom line, uh, I, one thing you didn't mention is how much you've discussed with your kids, uh, with, with, uh, with your son, the dangers involved and uh, what his views are, uh, whether he's aware that there is a risk and how he feels about about it. But uh, I think bottom line is it's okay for him to be on uh, so long as he's not doing anything that might excite the pedophiles. It seems to me like it's probably acceptable, especially considering how He's already been on, the, the damage has already been done, I, if there is any damage. Uh, if I were you, I'd probably pull the videos of him going on YouTube without, uh, YouTube without a shirt. But uh, uh, bottom line is it's probably okay for him to be on uh, so long as he is conservative in the way he presents himself. I hope these insights help you, uh, and maybe somebody with more expertise than I am uh, will come on and give more concrete information. Good luck. Bye.